Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. And it's been quite a while since I've done a Will I Buy It. I think the last one I did was maybe October, sometime around then. So I figured it's definitely high time that we do do one. We've got a ton of new releases coming soon. Some of them have just recently come out in certain locations. And I'd like to say thank you to Tavia from Chic Profile Official. If you don't already follow her on Instagram, make sure you do so. I will have her profile linked down below in the description box. So you can just click there and follow her. But she has all of the latest and greatest news on what's coming in the luxury beauty scene. So all of the photos I'm using here are credited to her. Although I do have some additional photos of the Chanel as well. So let's start off with Hermes. Hermes has a lot of new items coming out soon. So we have the Hermes Plein Air Natural Enhancing Complexion Balm. This is going to be $77 for 40 ounces. It's SPF 30. There are 12 shades. Now it's 12 shades, but it's not a foundation. It's a complexion balm. So it's really more of like a tint, um, essentially more like a sunscreen tint and you can use like foundation on top of it. So it's supposed to be radiant and hydrating, almost like a uh, tinted primer, essentially. I will probably pick this up. <laughs> so definitely interested in that. We also have the Plen Air Radiant Glow Powder. Uh, so this is the highlighter, the Mirage shade, I think it was called, not Mirage, the, um, what was the gold one? The gold one <laughs> is already out. That one came out several months ago. I did not pick that up because it looked too dark, but we have two shades coming out now, Mirage and one called, I believe it's called Rose Hermes. And you know, as long as they don't look too dark for me and the one definitely doesn't, I will probably pick up both of those. We also have a Radiant Matte Powder, which is gonna be a setting powder in this line and probably pick that up too. There's also a new brush. I haven't seen photos of the brush yet, so I don't know if I'll pick it up or not. I do like the Hermes blush brush, but again, it's not like the best brush in the world or anything like that. It's just, it does work really well with those products and it's pretty. So uh, I don't know whether I'll pick up the new one or not, but the other items from this collection, I do plan on purchasing. Moving on to Chanel. So Chanel has a lot of new collections coming to us very soon. First up, we have the LeBlanc collection. So this is coming up in March and we have two multi-use highlighting top coats. These are the items that are kind of like in that click concealer type packaging you can see in the photo. I don't know if I'll pick those up. I haven't actually seen swatches, but according to Tavia, they are incredibly sheer. I don't know if they're gonna be worth picking up. So I'll, I'll probably skip that because we've got a lot of things coming in April that I wanna purchase from Chanel as well. There's also a quad, number 384 Imaginaire. This quad, uh, you know, LeBlanc is typically a very light collection, very sheer washes of color. This quad, I've seen swatches, it's sheer. It looks a little bit on the warmer side. It's probably gonna be a pass for me. I'm not intending to pick this up unless I see photos that make it look better than what I've seen so far. The piece de resistance for this particular collection is the highlighter though. So this is called Red de Camellia. Uh, I, I believe that means dreams of camellias or camellia dreams, something like that. Anyway, it's stunning. The actual highlighter itself is stunning. I think the color is gorgeous. I am definitely picking this up. And from what I understand, you know, this is going to be made in very limited supplies. So if you do want it, you want to get it right away. So yeah, um, that I think is going to go quickly. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. We also have a liquid eyeliner from Chanel and I can't really tell what the color looks like. Um, you know, the name that I've read, it's, it's a translation of the name. So I'm not sure if it's exactly correct, but it says pool pull blanc. So I'm not sure exactly what kind of shade that is supposed to be. Pool makes me think of blue, but when I saw pictures, it looked more, um, more reddish. 
So I don't know, I need to see photos of that, but I might because I do really like the limited edition liquid eyeliners. They usually have really beautiful colors. Some of them have a little bit of shimmer. So that's a maybe. We also have three new shades of the Cocoa Flash. So there's 168 Hello, 170 Romance, and 172 um, Flannelly. And I'm gonna pass on these because we have new Chanel lipsticks coming out soon as well in the refillable line. We'll talk about those in a second, but I'm gonna pass on the flashes to get more of those lipsticks instead. In addition, the LeBlanc collection also has two new Allure inks. So these are the liquid lips. I do like some of these. So I don't know, I need to see the colors. I haven't seen swatches of these, but we have 232. I'm not sure how to say these names, um, Poegy, and 234, Evo Cassion. So they're maybes, I need to see more photos. There are also three nail polishes, and they do look really pretty. We have 919 Utopia, 921 Evanescence, and 923 Omerique. And I think they look pretty. I'll have to see more, but honestly, I have so many nail polishes, I'll probably pass on those. So again, for me, the big thing from this collection is gonna be the Camellia highlighter. Now let's talk a little bit about the new lipsticks that are coming out. They were scheduled to come out March 1st. They have been pre-order on the Chanel website. They are refillable. It's like a Rouge Allure satin formula. They're in more of the thin Stilo style packaging. They have gorgeous shades. There are 20 shades right now, 15, uh, 15 of them are permanent, five of them are limited edition. You can tell which ones are limited edition because refills are not sold for those. <laughs> so, you know, in case you don't remember the numbers, I do have them listed on the community tab as to which ones are limited edition, but you know, you can always kind of tell by checking to see whether a refill is available for that or not. Refills are $40 and the actual lipstick with a case is 55 US dollars. And that's all we've seen so far. There has been a delay though. So these have moved from March 1st to later in March. So somewhere around the third week of March is when we will see those released. And I have quite a long wish list of those. So I'll probably be picking up quite a few of those lipsticks. And then also coming from Chanel, we have in April, the Tweed eyeshadows. So these look stunning. You know, the actual packaging on these is gorgeous. The embossing is gorgeous. I personally wish they had done something a little different with some of the color stories. They're very ordinary. I understand like the tweed is probably meant to be very classic. So they're going with classic colors. For the most part, three of the four quads look pretty warm toned. So I wish there was just a little bit more balance, but you know, I'm gonna be picking up at least two of these. Um, I'm not really exactly sure, but I definitely want to get at least two of them. I think they're really beautiful. From what I understand, these will be sold in boutiques only. They will not be going to the department stores, but at least we are getting them in the U.S. So if you're interested in these, you know, definitely kind of start planning in advance because they're probably going to go quickly. And we have more lipsticks on the horizon, this time from Dior. So Dior has 25 shades coming out in March of the Dior Attic Lip Shines in three, they're, they're in refillable packaging and there are three special cases you can purchase separately as well. So the case they come with is this black case and then you have like the denim and the pink and the silver as um, you know, limited edition, or I don't know if they're limited edition, but they're separate cases that you can buy if you would like to more customize your lipstick essentially. So there are 25 shades. These have been available for pre-order on Nima Marcus. I do plan on trying out some of these when they are available. So we'll see, those are again in just a couple weeks. Also from Dior, we have the lipstick 228 Baby Look. So this looks to be like a special edition limited edition shade, different packaging, all of that. Um, and I think it looks pretty, but I don't know if I'm gonna pick that up or not. Need to see a little bit more about that. We also have the Backstage Concealer coming from Dior. Has 13 shades, it's gonna be out this summer. I don't know if I'm going to pick that up or not. So I have a really hard time with color matching Dior-based products. 
And next up, we have a cushion foundation from Lancome. So this is the Tent Edol Ultra Wear Skin Fit Mesh Cushion Foundation. And I think it looks really pretty. It should be coming out very soon. I think it's scheduled to come out sometime this week. This week. So we'll have to wait and see. I don't know if it's going to be available everywhere or not, you know, so we'll see if it comes to the U.S. Lancome site. But, um, you know, I don't know. I'm not a huge cushion foundation person, so I usually pass on them, but we'll see. April 21st, Clay de Poe. We have two things coming. We have a new tinted lip balm. I love their tinted lip balms. Uh, they all have like a different color and a different scent. They are scented. Uh, so, you know, like there's a berry one that smells like berry. There's an orange one that smells more like oranges, you know, things like that. So we have a new shade coming called Neutral Pink. And this one is supposed to smell like roses and Sauvignon Blanc. So I am intrigued by that one and I'll probably pick it up. And we also have a limited edition packaging for the matte lipstick in shade 103. That's one of their best sellers. So lipstick shade's not new, but the packaging is, you know, designed around roses. So we do have limited edition packaging for that. I believe those are going to be released at the same time. Oh, and I forgot another Dior item. We have the Prestige Light in White Lip Protector UV Mineral BB SPF 50. 50, five zero. <laughs> so this is available on Selfridges and I really want to try it. I have not ordered it from Selfridges because for some reason I am getting charged all of these extra duty fees for it. So I'm kind of seeing what happens there, but I'm hoping it comes to the Dior website and I do plan on picking it up then. Uh, I think it looks, you know, essentially like a nice primer SPF product. So I definitely want to try that. There's also a Limulsion Lumiere, so like some sort of brightening liquid. I have not seen that yet. I thought they were supposed to be released at the same time, so I'm not really sure. That one I'm not as interested in. I think that's just gonna be like one of those radiant serums that you put on underneath your makeup, but I'm definitely more interested in the protector. A couple items from Laura Mercier that have come out. We have the Lip Glacé and the Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer Natural Skin Illuminator. I've actually heard very good things about both of them. I might pick some of these up at some point, but so far I haven't. Let me know if you guys are interested in anything with those. We have another exciting release coming from Suku very soon. This is going to be the Liquid Foundation, and I've been waiting patiently for this since last fall when we first saw any news about this. So it's called the Liquid Foundation. It's due out March 3rd, and it's gonna be medium coverage foundation. There's no fragrance. It's gonna be SPF 15 to 30, depending on the shade. Their, shade, uh, their SPF ratings always change depending on the pigments used in the products. There are 23 shades, and those are gonna match the shades in the cream foundation. So you, if you already know your match, you're, you should take the same shade in the liquid foundation. So I'm very, very excited for that. Definitely can't wait to try that. There's also the a Violume uh, cleansing cream coming out April 1st from Suku. And I'm interested in that, but not as interested as a foundation. So I might pick up the cleansing cream at some point, but it's not gonna be a priority. So I'll probably pass on that right in the beginning. From Chantecaille, we've already seen the giraffe collection, mostly, but the Willow Lip Chic is still waiting to come out. That should be coming out in March. And yeah, I do plan on picking that up. And then there's also an HD Radiant Blush, which is in one of those packages where you have the powder blush with the brush attached to it and you know it filters through the, the brush to get into your skin. I'm not really all that interested in the blush. I think this shade looks really pretty. I just really don't like that packaging. So I'll probably pass on the blush, but I do plan on picking up the lip chic. And then from Guerlain, we have a few items. So there is a scalp serum that just came out. I'm actually very interested in this. So the Abbe Royale line, which is, you know, the ones that have like the youth watery oil and so forth. This scalp serum is based off of the youth watery oil. So it's a scalp in here hair serum and it's 
pretty pricey. It's $135 for 50 milliliters. It is currently available at department stores and online at Guerlain. So I want to try it. I'll probably pick it up when it's on sale sometime. So the other thing from Guerlain, we have a, I'm not sure if this is coming to the U.S. or not, but it's, I'm not sure how to say this either, Peru um, Gold Cushion Foundation SPF 40, and that's supposed to be due out March 1st. So honestly, I'm not that interested in that, so I'll probably pass on that. And I think that is pretty much everything that I've seen coming up soon. There are a couple of new items that have recently released that I have already picked up, like the new Guerlain Terracotta Light Bronzer, and I have this on today. And I have to say, I've been pleasantly surprised with this because the only other terracotta line product I've tried was a bronzer from the holiday collection in 2020. And the, the scent, the fragrance was just so intense that I just, I couldn't use the product. I gave it to a friend. This fragrance, I don't know if it's the same, but it's not the same as how I remember the other product being. And it's definitely fragranced. You know, it's not like a, a light, soft fragrance, but it's not as overpowering as the other bronzer that I had as I, either. And it actually smells a little bit more floral than the other one did to my recollection. So again, I don't have that one anymore to kind of check, but um, yeah, this fragrance doesn't bother me. So I look for a review on this coming up soon. And yeah, I think that's basically it. We've got quite a few new things coming up very soon. I'd love to know what you guys are interested in seeing and anything new that, you know, I've kind of missed. Please let me know. Definitely interested. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.